Well, I'm in the studio today, and yes, indeed, I do have on my clear readers today. And when I put my clear readers on, you know I mean business. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but I do know what I'm talking about when it comes to real estate photography, particularly when it comes to providing your clients with the best work possible. You get the call, you go out and do the shoot, you're all proud of yourself, you get back to the studio, you take a look at your work and all of your pictures are out of perspective because of the wide angle lens. All your edges are bulging, leaning in, leaning out, everything looks weird, the perspective is insane. What are you gonna do? Well, you can fix it, quick and easy. I'm gonna show you how on this edition of Drone Business Strategy. All right, you ready to clean up some unsightly work? Let's see if we can make this rock and roll here and look fantastic. Look at the screen. Decent composition. Lighting's okay. Contrast, all right. Okay, it's all right. But everything's drooping left and right from center screen here. Look at this. Everything from the center is sliding off the screen right, and everything on the left is listing 30 degrees port side. It's like I feel like I'm back on the USS McKee in my Navy days. And I'm slow, everything's sliding off the floor here, over to the left or off to the right. We got to fix these problems. And when you get back to the studio, what are you going to do after you've already done the shoot and you've used your wide angle lens? And that starts farting around with all of your uh, perspective. So we got to fix that. And the way we fix that is very simply. I want you to take a look at this picture. Now, watch what happens. I got Lightroom open. I'm sliding all the way down to transform. Right, so there's our color composition all the way down, right, and there you come all the way down. Look at this right here, transform. Now all I'm going to do, watch how stupid simple this is. I'm going to click the auto button. Watch what happens. Boom. Watch off, on, off, on. Look at the difference. Everything's rolling off from left to right. Hit this little button right here, this little auto button, bang. Now, if you want to get real tasty and start going in here and fine tweaking, well, you can do that all you want to right here with all these little knobs that will, you know, do the little scroll over here, little offset over there, up and down. We got our perspective, ooh, a little squeezy so you can squeeze, you can rotate the photo, you can do the horizontal transformation or the vertical, okay? So let's go all the way back to our ridge. Okay, so there's our ridge. There's off and there's on. But that's it. You're done. How hard was that? Now you fixed your issue. Easy peasy. Now, another little tip I'm going to give you is when you're shooting on location, don't tilt your camera. Raise your tripod up and down, but keep your camera completely level. No tilting, no side to side, straight up, perfectly level. That's critical, very important. Don't be tilting your camera because as soon as you tilt your camera up or down, you're going to start seeing these bulging things going on or squeezing things going on because you're farting around with your perspective as you're tilting the camera, right? So in order to compensate for that, don't tilt the camera at all. Keep the camera level. Normally you're shooting at hip height, right? Most of the time, the camera's going to be on the tripod, interiors, real estate, on the tripod, hint, hint, all right? And sometimes when you're going to be in the kitchen or you've got to get tops of the counters, you got to raise the camera up. But don't raise the camera up so high that you have to tilt it back down again. Just raise up the tripod and then lower it as necessary, depending on your shots. There's really only going to be two angles you're really shooting at here in terms of height, hip and chest, hip and chest. That's pretty much it. You're not going to really go much higher than that. So use the tripod to do your ups and downs rather than tilting the camera. That will help alleviate just coming right off the shoot 
back into your studio, it'll alleviate a lot of the bulging. But when you do get that bulging uh, at the end of the day, remember, you can come right on in here to Lightroom or really any software, but I like Lightroom. Very simple, very easy to use, very cost effective. I think I pay $39 a month for the entire package. I'm not selling any of their products. I endorse them, but I don't sell them. They don't sponsor me. Okay. I didn't ask their sponsorship. All right. So I hope that helps. Very simple, easy to do. Tell your friends, share the information. And if there's something that I've left out, a correction that you need to make, right? You need to say, hey, Tone, you forgot about, put it in the comments below, suggestions below, questions below, right? I'm not a clairvoyant. I don't read mine. So in the box below, write down your note. You want to just say hello? I love that too. I'll love you back. I read every single comment every single time you leave one. So, because it's very important to me and it's very respectful. So hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more information, business strategy relative to the creative industry that we're in, whether it be drone flying, whether it would be real estate photography, whether you're doing commercial shoots, whatever it might be. I've taken business and I've taken the art and I've combined the two so that not only can I make money for my family and my friends and my cohorts, but I can also show you how to do it as well. So listen, I love you very much. I wish you all green lights and I'll see you next time on Drug Business Strategy Magazine. Make it a great day. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let us know. If you have any comments, leave them below. If you'd like to hire us, you can get more information by visiting aerialnorthwest.com. Be smart, safe, and fly responsibly.